In this section, I am going to cover the various methods that you will use to playback effects on subs on your EOS console, and specifically the difference between a standard submaster and an effect sub, because their behavior is a little bit different. So let's take a look at a couple examples. Now, when you're using submasters for effect playback, it's pretty much the same way you would in a queue. So you apply effect data to a channel and then store it like you would any other value. Now also, it's important to remember that a submaster will treat effect data like any other non-intensity parameter. So it's best to configure your submasters as if you were going to be using them with non-intensity parameters. And a good thing to remember is to set that up to be an intensity master is the first thing. So let's take a look at these different playback options on subs. And the first thing we want to look at is just a, a traditional submaster. Now by nature, this submaster is capable of storing all information including effect data. So my submaster number one in this case is storing all information, position, color, and an effect. And in this case, because it's set up as an intensity master, my fader runs the intensity. And with the fader down, I can use the bump button to um, start and stop that information. And what we want to do is look also at our channel display and you can see that the values in yellow you can see that the submaster has control of uh, not only preset number one is stored in there but also effect number 41 is stored in the beam category. Now an effect sub is a little bit different because an effect sub is only capable of storing effect information so it's basically like it automatically selective stores and it's and it can only grab effect information. So if I'm uh, looking at this, I have a queue where my queue is setting some of my background values, in this case position and intensity, and now my effect submaster number two will play back the effect only. And now the handle, the actual fader in this case, the behavior is changed. It's not an intensity master because our intensity is coming from the background value. What an effect sub will do is the, the fader will adjust any scalable attribute of this effect. And because this effect is a zoom, what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the size of that effect with my fader. And if we look at our channel display, you can see that the only value that this submaster is changing is the effect. Everything else is being called back from the queue. So that is what you want to remember about an effect sub specifically. And those are the various methods that you can use to playback effects using submasters on your EOS.